Hey, what's up guys? Your second favorite PE teacher, Denver, and this is every building tip you will ever need in Fortnite Battle Royale. Fortnite's been out for a while and some builders are so good that they win almost every single fight. But even if you think you're the best builder and editor out there, there's a lot in this video that you probably don't know yet. You'll be super excited to start using these new tips and tricks in this video, showing all the best editing, building, and counter building tricks out there, and even some hidden vision tips that might get nerfed because they're so good. For real though, I think number 21 on this list might be the best new tip out there and I just had to put it in this video for you. Click like and subscribe right now and tell me down in the comments how many wins you have in Fortnite. And also if you guys want all the new Fortnite skins and emotes, which of course you do, maybe you don't have the money for it or want to spend your own money on it, check out App Bounty to get some free Xbox, PS4, even Steam and Amazon gift cards. Click the link in the description of this video and after downloading, use code DENVER if they ask. They give you like 50 free credits to start or something like that and then just click play and earn and then get going. I say free gift cards because all you need is a little time each day. You download some apps, use them, play them, like some new games and stuff, get some points and then I even grabbed like a Nintendo gift card for my Switch. So up to you guys if you want to spend a little time and get gift cards, if so, make sure you click the link in the description. That link helps me out big time, so click it right after. Huge, huge thanks to App Bounty for partnering up with me to bring you this video, and let's get started. Tip number one, if you are ever stuck in a one-by-one -one box, make sure you put a pyramid or cone inside to set up some really good edit plays and to get vision on your enemies. You can edit the cone to a ramp for a quick escape out the top, or you can use the ramp to look out the top of your one by one if you have a cone on top as well. For even better vision, edit the inside cone to a Dorito and get all the vision you need on the outside. Tip number two for some quick but safe long range shots on an enemy, edit one corner of your cone, then edit your walls to triangles. If you edit the cone again, you can have perfectly clear vision on two sides of your base. As you get faster at editing, you can rotate this vision pretty quickly and this trick is best used near the edge of the storm circle. Tip number four, get quick at editing that inside pyramid so you can make sure all directions are clear. If you see an enemy and want to take an almost undetected shot at them, edit a window out of your wall and use just the corner of the window to shoot through. This is especially good if you're surrounded by enemies and you can now only get shot from one small angle for that extra survivability. Tip number five, obviously not all fights will be fought inside a closed one by one. So if you want to fight from your open ramp, make sure you can rotate it quickly enough to keep your enemy guessing where your head might pop out when you're ready to shoot. To do this quickly, just drag your cursor from the middle edit line to another middle edit line, which can take almost half the time of moving your cursor across the entire edit diagram. This is a great move to practice in Playground. Number six, instead of just popping your head up to shoot, edit a quick hole in one of your sidewalls and see if you can get a couple shots off before your enemy has time to adjust their aim. And tip number seven, if you want to take this to the next level, which of course you do, edit a hole to get your enemy's attention and aim, and then shoot quickly out of the top of your base for free damage. Just pray that your enemy isn't really good at flicks to your face. Tip number eight, peek for free before you snipe by placing a ramp in front of your one by one, and when the time is right, rotate your ramp and let off a shot. And as always, just be careful of getting sniped from the side. Also. Just throw up a few walls around you so you only have to worry about the direction in front of you. Tip number nine, I bet you guys have all seen how good people are getting at putting cones down in build fights. These can stop you in your tracks and even get you locked in where you get trap killed. Take this tip to the next level and cone yourself in if you ramp to the high ground on your enemy. This might seem crazy at first, but now the enemy can no longer cone you and a simple edit will get you through as if it wasn't even there. Practice this one at playground and outplay your opponents in no time. And tip number 10, if you do get your own cone above you while the enemy is stuck beneath you wondering what happened, quickly place walls around you to win the trap battle. This puts you in a much better position because if they get their walls and traps down, you can immediately edit out your pyramid and escape. Tip number 11, and a quick one for people who are still walling themselves all the way around them before healing or shielding, 
Remember, you can often just place a single pyramid down to protect yourself from any gunfire and still have time to wall up if it happens. This uses only 10 mats for the cone, where the other way uses sometimes up to 50 mats or more that you might need for that next battle. Of course, flat ground is the easiest place to do this, so don't stress if you can't find a good spot to cone. Side note, if an enemy starts shooting at you, get those walls up quick around you and edit your cone for immediate protection. Tip number 12, if an enemy does cone you in a fight or even just to get yourself up a blocked ramp, jump at the right moment to get to the side of the cone or floor and get your own floor down beneath you. From here, you can retake high ground on an enemy that might think you're still stuck below. Tip number 13, if you get really good at this cone side jump, you can take it up a notch and actually double ramp away from your enemy. Then flip a quick 180 or a couple 90 degree rotation builds and retake that high ground. And make sure you do this right. Look straight down at your floor piece as soon as you land to drop a ramp above you and in front of you. Just make sure not to spend too much time ramping away instead of tracking and shooting your enemy. Whoever can track their enemy better in a fight will most likely win. Tip 14, speaking of 90s, master them and do it right now. 90 degree turns or 90s are the fastest way to gain or regain high ground and they aren't that hard to do with a little bit of practice. You just need to get a wall in front and to the side of you and then the key is to get a flat piece down and then a ramp. The flat piece and ramp being placed below will actually make you jump higher than just a ramp by itself. So if you get it down and you're doing it correctly, you can even jump almost to the top of your ramp. Just like anything else, start slowly and then start to add in sprinting and getting the timing of your jump down. When you start doing 90s, your character's shoulder might bump the wall, but as you get better, you will know exactly when to turn and jump forward. Pro tip, avoid putting a floor piece above your head by looking down when you place it. If you do block yourself in though, just hit a quick edit and continue with your build. Tip number 15, don't worry, 180s are still a thing and you will still wanna use these, especially if you are caught in a sandwich or third party situation to keep yourself covered. Just like 90s, that floor piece below your ramp will help you climb much faster since you get that extra jump boost. 180s will cover you from all sides and are still quick enough that you might be able to beat some average players to the high ground or probably your best choice in like a sandwich third party situation, build up high enough and glide to safety. Tip number 16 to practice, 180s and some other high level builds, do not miss the new training platform in playground mode. I mainly practice the 180 one by one box when I'm getting warmed up for a game. This is a good way to test your sensitivity, your timing, so see if you can beat my time and if so, let me know down in the comments what time you got. When you're done with that, head over to the ramp rush station and get ready to learn the best ramp rush. Tip number 17, in almost every game you play, you will have to ramp rush either to be an enemy's ramp rush or just to get to high ground and shoot down on somebody. I know there are a lot of awesome ramp rush styles out there and some definitely look cool like the Dorito ramp rush that Beaks came up with, but the triple layer ramp is what you will want to use almost every single time. Similar to 90s, just place your ramp and then I usually look down and place my floor, then look up and place a wall and then another ramp. Do this a few times in playground and you will get the hang of it. Most enemies will not be able to shoot through this ramp in time and if you have someone shooting from your side, you even have time to flick and place a wall to protect you on the way up. So far I have found that none of the other ramp rushes are as effective as this one, but definitely feel free to practice others in playground just to get better at building overall. The practice mode for this ramp rush is right next to the big practice llama and you can try to beat my time on this too. Just a reminder, if you guys haven't clicked like or subscribe on this video yet, please do it if it helps you out and get that notification bell too for more awesome videos like this one. Tip number 18, something a lot of people still forget is that it doesn't always matter whether you're high ground, low ground, behind a wall, maybe you're peeking out. If an enemy sees you and can do damage to you, you can also see them and do damage to them. A lot of people are watching pros and using their pickaxes to break into one by ones. Then they replace the wall with their own and they try to edit and shoot you inside. This is good, this is what you're supposed to do, but here is a way to counter it. When you see them pull out their pickaxe, immediately edit your wall and shoot your enemy instead of sitting there trying to build to replace the wall. They won't expect to be shot because they think they are in control and have the advantage. If they're still alive after you hit them, just close the edit and get ready for round two. But if you hit them hard enough, make sure you chase and don't give them time to shield or heal up.
Tip number 19, this is more of a shooting trick, but it works directly to counter building. Try to start carrying a hand cannon around, or as most of us like to call it, a deagle. The deagle does about 150 damage, which means that with one shot, you can get right through a wall. Instead of pickaxing and giving away your position, just deagle shot and quickly switch to a shotgun to land some damage before your enemy even knows what is going on. This trick can also work with teammates where one teammate fires deagle shots to remove walls Walls while his or her teammates shoots at whoever is hiding inside. Just a heads up, you might be seeing this meta more and more as some pros have actually stopped using SMGs or snipers altogether, and instead they're using deagles in that slot as they're more versatile, they pack a huge punch. Flipping back and forth from your shotgun and deagle is actually similar to the double pump that got banned, but of course, the deagle relies much more on your aim to hit an enemy. Enjoy this now because with how powerful it is, it might be nerfed soon. Tip number 20, if you're carrying around a deagle already, try to get some clingers with you as well because if anybody is caught in a one by one, just toss a clinger on top of their base and then deagle the roof. The clinger will drop in and explode everything inside. Tip number 21, I think this is the best one on the list. It's brand new and it's about to start getting really, really popular. We talked earlier in the video about coning an enemy that ramps above you or even coning yourself in to prevent this. But if you are having trouble getting the pyramid side jump down to get around it, there's a new trick that you can use with a glider redeploy that can quickly get you behind an enemy for some easy damage. Just jump off the side of your ramp and jump onto theirs. You lose very little height, if not gaining some height sometimes and they most likely won't expect you to be able to just wrap around and shoot them in the back. There are some other tricks you can use on ramps now that we have glider redeploy, but a guy named I'm Speedy Gonzalez on YouTube, he covered it super well, so you guys can check his channel out if you want to instead. So did you guys click like and subscribe? Yeah, just kidding dudes, but for real, if you aren't following me on my socials, you better get on it, especially to watch me live on Twitch where you can talk with me and if you ask anybody in my live streams, I chat with you guys so much, probably too much when I should be paying attention to getting those dubs. But yeah, hope you guys really like this one. It took a long time to make, but I think I just really like to make sure everything's like quality. You know, all the tips are actually helpful and not just time filler to get to 10 minutes. I'm not calling anyone out though. Okay, us YouTubers, we gotta get that mid-roll ad, you know? All right, I said too much. See you guys in the next video. Love, Denver.